Rogue Lords is a strategy game. I, according to the gameplay trailer, it looks very similar to like taking every turn-based element of a standard like JPR, JRPG and then making that kind of its own game. Uh, so not necessarily like a deck builder, maybe? We'll see when we get into it. Um, because it actually lists, lists deck builder anywhere. It's just RPG, roguelike, uh, 2D gothic. So maybe it's probably a bit more like Darkest Dungeon. Um, so the studios that's creating this actually, Laker Studio also is working on Metal Gear, uh, or sorry, Metal Slug Tactics. Although Metal Gear Tactics would be pretty dope too. But Metal Slug Tactics, so we'll get an idea in terms of the quality. Uh, the uh, the uh, partner studio, uh, Cyanide Studio, uh, they worked on Blood Bowl and like a million other things. So these are not like freshy dev studios. These are studios that probably, you know, can deliver a, a relatively well um <clears throat> developed product so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into this and, and checking it out here i should, I should just go ahead and click on this here um oh ago, here we go mortals rose up against me and chased me down they were led by demon hunters wretched beings incapable of seeing the beauty of a corrupted world my creatures and demons gave everything they had in the fight but it was not enough. I was forced to leave the world of the living. Weakened, I returned to hell to survive. For years, I consumed fresh souls to regain my power, but their numbers are fast diminishing. I cannot wait anymore. I must reclaim my rightful place. It is time to gather my forces once more. Those oh. who signed a pact with me will do as I order. They will spread terror and corruption in my name. The time has come for my revenge. I dig the art style. I really dig that art style. It looks good. The movement, subtle movements and such, like look really, really, really good and fluid. Um let me see. Welcome to your fortress. From here, you can launch adventures from the map, from the new world. Read about our servants in the chart. Okay, read about your servants in the uh, chart of disciples. Follow your progress in the altar of conquest. Cool. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see. This one, two, three. There's a bunch of empty things here, so I'm guessing this is where we go to get more to where people. Oh, hold on. Disciples left to send to the surface. My influence is a mere shadow of what it was before. I must assemble my followers. All right. Uh, only unlocked disciple will be shown here. So you see they actually have their own abilities. I click on this. Oh, they just talk a lot, don't they? The centuries <laughs> have dampened his rage, <laughs> but not his cruelty. His taste for the theatrical has produced a variety of bloody yet sophisticated spectacles that I never <laughs> tell of watching. <laughs> okay, so the uh, you play as like the overseer then. Like this is gonna be like an un, an, a, a no face uh, antagonist or I guess protagonist because you're playing the good guys, the bad guys. You're playing the bad guys, so you're protagonist. Uh, <laughs> uh, health points twenty five, spiritual points to see scare. So they actually have stats here: occultism, temptation, stealth, ruse. Uh, they see combats. Uh, lots of abilities. Okay, so I can swap out abilities. Yeah, this does feel a lot like dungeon. Uh, 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 dungeon. Dankest, darkest dungeon. Um, old poetry. Oh, each time he uses his recharge, Dracula gains plus two damage for his turn. Uh, per skill he recharged, he looks an old portrait. Oh, oh, the one that got away. Um, cool. All right, and I guess everyone probably has a. The headless. Yep. Host. Okay. Bloody Mary. Oh no, nothing for her. Um. <laughs> it's kind of like I like really like the look of her actually terri terrifying. Let me see. So our ability to see uh, inflict 7 to 12 HP 2 times 3 to 5 HP. Okay, cool 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 uh, And reduce the impeding attack by 2. So just a reminder like you know These are all on the Steam Next Fest uh, whether that has happened already or is happening right now depending on when you watch this video um, Or when it's released. Uh, you know, this is a demo version of the game. So we're not we're not playing I was waiting for him to talk. Uh, we're not playing what should be considered the release. The release for this is slated for fall of 2021. So there's still lots of time for any kind of changes to go in. Uh, but, you know, we should expect at least, you know, it's, obviously it's a demo. It should be playable, right? This map depicts a new world. Demon Hunters have put an end to your reign 10 years ago. Okay, cool. Choose missions. The further you progress in the game, the stronger your adversaries become. And the overall difficulty in the game increases. For the moment, your adversaries are weak. So take advantage of it and hit hard. All right. We only Many need to play a few minutes. Oh, do, 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 do. You're not going to read all that, are you? 
and his demon no okay hold on let's choose the then, bloody mary let's go <laughs> sorry guy you control a group of disciples and choose uh one to represent the group you navigate from zone to zone by choosing your route on the map you have to complete the main activity in a zone before you can move to the next okay so a little bit of a monster train kind of set up here move to move close to the main activity to launch it so i can move this guy anywhere look at this and I can't leave this area. I'm locked in. Invisible walls, which is fine. Fog of war. It's very dense. And then I have to come over here. In order to launch this. Let's see. So main activity. Completing this activity unlocks access to the following to the next zone. Um, okay, cool. Just want to run around and see. Sadbury. Aw. Through the renewed link. Yeah, my... how about we just uh we're just gonna keep going. So Through they're gonna the link. Okay. <laughs> Hey man, there's lots of story in this. This is good. This is good. Click on the map to consult it. Let's consult this map. See, the book map uh, shows the zones in the past for two chapters. It also shows you the special effects that might affect certain zones during, during gameplay. The first zone in each book. Oh, this is very monster train. Um, okay, yeah, look. Choo -choo, choo -choo -choo. Okay, so hover your mouse over a few zones for more details. All right, cool. So combat, combat, co event. I mean, this is common in a lot of games, not just necessarily just uh, uh, just monster train. Close this map. Move to the next zone. All right. So the activity was seriously just look at the map, which is good. A little tutorial. Uh, next zone done here. Oh, it automatically. Oh, it moved forward. We cannot go back anymore. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting, interesting. And there's my zone that I need to. Keep oh. crowding together, humans. You're making my job easier. So Diabolical Essence is your main resource uh, up here in the upper left corner. Essence can be lost during combat and are used to boost your influence over the world of immortals. Of mortals, rather. Souls can be won during combat or events. They can be traded to the Grim Reaper. Okay, so you have a currency you accumulate. As you accumulate events uh, and combats, the terror you inspire grows. Each increase produces a terror effect on the zones of subsequent night and gives you advantages. For every four increases, you move up a notch, permanently improving your chance to obtain higher rarity skills and receive your relic. So yeah, the game probably has a finite... I mean, look, we get to the end here. Um... Yeah, so there's definitely okay. Yeah, yeah, move, 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 move. Just in time to launch your first combo. Okay, so anyways, like it. So think about this in terms of let's just use Monster Train as an example because I've covered it so much here. Uh, so in Monster Train, you, you, the train eventually reaches an end, right? Whether whether it is you die along the way or you uh, you make it to the very end, you defeat the final boss. Um, but then when you defeat that, then that's a win for you. You get a ton of points. You get you know your your character upgrades, all that stuff, new cards, and all that, right? Uh, and this game is probably about the same, where you have a dedicated path. It's procedurally generated. Every single lot here is a different tile, and you move on. You, you choose your combat points uh, or event points, like the Grim Reaper, to buy stuff. Um, and you just want to get as powerful powerful as you can before you reach the end, um, which makes the game, which makes every run, you know, finite. Probably forty five minutes or something like that, pretty per, per run. We'll see how how long this goes, though. Let me see. Uh, select this. Select this approach to earn a skill to end a combat. Okay, so set up an ambush. Oh, okay, so choose your approach. Determine which one. Oh, interesting. So it's not just jump right into a fight. A terror effect in two nights and one skill. Let's do this. Let's just do what it says. I'm terribly sorry. <clears throat> it seems your time has come. All right, at the beginning of each turn, your enemies announce the actions uh, they're going to launch. You have five action points to share among your disciples uh, in order to thwart their attack. Once you finish, your enemies play their announced actions. Then a new turn begins. Oh, just the one guy, huh? Well. She's so like Bloody Mary to choose skill for her to launch. What game are we playing? <laughs> Select stabbing. Okay. Well, she has stabbing, she has stabbing, and she has... Blade, which also could stab with. All right, so let's select one of the stabbings. The Marauder to launch a skill. Nice. Oh, good. I mean, the the motion, the animation tweening on this is really, really nice, smooth. All combatants have two gauges: uh, health and one spiritual. Inflicting da physical damage it reduces the number of health points, while inflicting spiritual damage reduces the number of spiritual points, like mana. To be an enemy, you must reduce their health points or spiritual points to zero. Ah, break their spirits, and then inflict the same type of damage one last time to finish them off. Okay, it's like Dracula to launch the lunch. All right, let's see, Musta. Let's see, yeah, a bleeding heart. They're gonna make me choose some so the Marauder. Keep preparing to attack eight. Yeah, this is common. They t they broadcast what they're gonna do, right? Uh, let's see. When you use a skill, you deplete its charge, and it can be used again. It cannot be used again until it's recharged. Okay, each disciple possesses a recharge skill. Ah, that replenishes all other skills. Ooh, combo point generators. Uh, recharge actions vary from one disciple to another. For example, have some have bonus effects that change their cost. Okay, so charging it up vary from one disciple to another. Okay, okay. 
Select your recharge action. Uh, recharge all the disciple skills. Hold on, these vampirism, apply to sharpening, and then uh, two and two. Okay, cool. So select Dracula. Very nice. Uh, let me see. You have no more action points. Yes, I'm done. End this turn. Spacebar. Spacebar. <sighs> Enter key. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, return. Oh, return does it. Oh, I guess if they really want me to click on it though. Let me see. So now, select Bleeding Heart. Huh? From... Oh, again. Cool. Finish him off. Oh, it's only four damage, so... Oh, but he's weakened. When an enemy is reduced to zero health points or zero spiritual points, uh, they do not die. They have to administer a death strike by inflicting damage on the same gauge. The disciples are also subject to vulnerability status, but they do not die when they receive a death blow. Instead, you consume diabolic essence to keep them alive so they can complete their message. Ah, okay. So, yes, that's our overall party health, then. Individual health, party health. Easy peasy. All right, well, let's go ahead and um, finish him off. That bows down before my power. There we go. Is a good mortal. Oh, they do a little dance at the end. I missed it. The humans will finally submit to my yoke. All right. Uh, at the end of each combat, you'll receive rewards depending on your choice at the time of approach. Ah, okay. So yeah, we at the beginning we did choose uh, skill points. So let's see. Uh, and we can apply those. Choose your reward, or just select one here. Um, evolutions. So we make this more stronger. <laughs> we make this uh, more stronger, and we make this more stronger. <laughs> Uh, Burst of Anger, this looks like it's pretty good. Targets all enemies and it also like doubles the amount of damage it does. So let's go ahead and choose this. Uh, and we'll put it in the skill open slot. There we go. In there. Confirm. Cool. Move to the next zone. Sticks Fountain. Ooh, there are two things to do here. Extra activity. Maybe I should blow on it. This activity is optional. Let's, for the sake of moving this along, let's just go right to the, just go right to the, oh, dang it. Okay, let's just go right to the business, but it wants me to, to go along here and see one skill. Choose more skills. Um, attack discreetly, 49 souls. I guess it wants, it really wants me to get this. Heads will roll tonight. Oh, I love that you see that she has a little mirror that she spawns here or whatever, briefly. Because that's what you gotta go in the dark and you gotta like touch the mirror and you gotta say Bloody Mary three times or something like that. Uh, there are several ways to reduce inflicted damage with all skills, uh, with skills that immediately diminish imminent, imminent damage with statuses that protect your disciples or negative for your. Okay, cool. Select Mary, oh, take Mary, hey, mid bloodthirsty. Yep, got it. Once for mirror, something, something, something. So let's just select the mirror. Um, hold on. Select the mirror. Oh, this thing. Recharge your skills. Does she have? She already has her skills, though. We're good. Place the cursed mirror on the target. Oh, oh, oh. Cost it two. Let me see. We'll put on this guy. Aha! Uh -huh. Reduce the pending attack by two. Very nice. Now it's only five times two. Still a lot, but you know, it's uh. Let me see. So I only have two more action points here. Let's go to stab. Let's get stabbing. There we go. And then we'll end the turn. Try that Ender Key again. Nope, okay. Long hold? Oh, long hold will do it. Hmm. I'm just a big fan of space bar. Just like, whap. You know? Turn over, whap. <laughs> just whap, just done. Alright, so the Headless Horseman is a battle-hardened soldier who can take blows and dish them out. He gets reductions in damage and provo provocation statuses that allow him to redirect attacks on himself. When he suffers damage, his bitterness increases. At its maximum, his bitterness enables him to launch extremely potent skills. Ooh, set the Headless Horseman. Done. Select on guard. There we go. One provocation. Apply one shell. Set the Headless Horseman on target. There we go. Alright, taunt. Certain kind of light applies status. Okay, cool. So, that's, um, okay. There are six status types. Enhancement, Protection, Cure, Maneuver, Control, and Weakness. One status at a time. Okay, replace the first. Okay, one status at a time. So, my status on this guy, um... Provocation. See right here. Provocation. Bitterness. Up. In case the slash. Okay, and we're gonna slash this dude. We're working on him. Nice. Vulnerable. See, uh, and then... Can I choose somebody else to do an attack? No, it really wants to. Bleeding will kill the enemy. Oh, uh, let me see. Oh, I see bleeding behind the thing there. So cool. Can I click on that? Make rid of it? No, I can't. Each time you inflict damage, the holder suffers five. Okay, so he's gonna get an attack off first, and then he's gonna go. Okay, long hold and end. Okay, so he's gonna get an attack off. Fair amount of damage there. Then he's gonna die. Aegis. Ooh, AOE. My Dracula. My Dracula. 
This guy's gonna go down. Dracula is a leader of men and is once a bloodthirsty warrior. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, we need him to... Yeah, vampirism. Let's see, can he suck the blood? Can he suck blood? Let's see, well, he's, 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 well, he's just basically absorbing shit here. How much health does this guy have? 20? 20. Priestess. Okay. It's like bloodlust. Oh, it's telling me what to do. Yeah, vampirism. Let's see, a vampirism, each time the holder inflicts physical damage, they also heal themselves. Yeah, I guess that'll be the first one to do. Oh, it's like Dracula. Oh, okay, sure. Got it. Now we attack. Go to devil mode. Oh, snap. Well, hold on. What's it say? Devil, just a devil mode. Ooh. Okay. This is like, um, Tainted Grail. You know, there's like the, 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 uh, ultimate uh, ability or something that we're charging up here. Modify the health points, uh, and spiritual gauges. Recharge skills. Move statuses around. The only limit to this power is the cost of diabolic essence. Oh, and it costs essence. One of your devil powers allows you to move status between combatants. To do so, grab one of the combatant statuses under his HP and SP gauges and drag it around. Whoa! That's kind of cool. So, move the martyr's data sta uh, the, the martyr status to Dracula. This is right here. What the heck? That's crazy! Whoa! Slide the health bar. <laughs> what? <laughs> Slide it to zero? Just, just gonna do that? Irresistible. Oh my god. How much is that gonna cost me? Cost me ten. Wow. And then we just finish her off. And he heals off that. Whoa. keeping you from ridding us of this vermin. Okay. When a disciple's vulnerable about to suffer damage, the devil protects it at cost of many of many diabolical essence is as inflicted damage. Uh, if a disciple is not vulnerable and about to suffer more damage. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah this makes sense. Yeah. Yep. It's the it's the heart of the train, man. Monster train. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and do... Let me see. We have plenty of attacks here, but can we do something that's going to finish him off? Finish the fight by your own means. Yes, 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 yes. But this guy is still... Uh, you see, he still has his... Uh, oh, no. Sharpening, but no no blood-sucking effect. You see, 2 times 6 to 7, so that's 12 damage. And we have plenty of hit points here. This guy hasn't done anything yet. Here are 9 to 14. Uh, and there's two to five to eight. Let me see. Seven to twelve, apply one bleeding. I think we should do one of these first. That way, if he does get a hit off, which he will, he's gonna get off on, uh, on, uh, Vlad. Um, let me see. Does she have any one point? Nobody has one point abilities here. Oh, he does. Okay, cool. Give him one good hit. And then vulnerable. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna be vulnerable there. Maybe the bleed effect took him out? Simple mortal trinkets. Ordinary, wicked, and but demonic. Use for them. When you obtain a skill for the third time, they three fuse together to form a skill with the next level of rarity. Ooh. Okay. So, right now I have, um... I mean, what am I using the most? Not Nothing really, right? Let's see, uh... I'll just take this one. There you go. Yep. Apply it to that. Oh, I had three. That's right. I had two abilities there. Dang! I forgot about that. Select an open skill slot. Yeah, this one? No? You want this one? Okay, that's fine. Cool. So now it does, uh, more damage. Yeah, you know, I totally forgot I had two of those. Oh. Ah, here we go. Mmm. Let me see. So, we take nothing and we get some of this currency we can spend at the Grim Reaper. Um, let's take nothing and let's just see if we get lucky. Oh, they want me to, okay, choose, okay, they, they want me to do it, that sucks. Unleash the beast, lose all HP, apply one sharpening, target one enemy, two to nine, okay, apply three, decomposition, decomp. At the end, at uh, the beginning and end of the turn, lose four to ten HP. Hmm, the beginning and end, weakness, hmm. Hmm, interesting. Uh, let's see, bloodlust, uh, better three to five HP for per attack, lose all HP, apply one sharpening. Um, hmm, when you obtain this go for the third time, the three fuse, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just upgrade his vampirism since it seems to be, you know, pretty good. Um, confirm. Okay, now we can go and launch this and move on to the next area. Let's see, click to, click to observe more. Oh, hold on, what is this? Sticks Fountain. You can only withdraw energy from this source one time. Your disciples assemble around the altar, awaiting your orders. The waters of the Styx offer oh, invincibility. 20 essence more. to heal... I'm guessing this, yeah. Can do nothing to stop oh yeah, they can. I mean, you know, we already lost like 12 pretty easily, so. <laughs> Moving on to the next area. The mortals can't stop me. I'm like Many limping. I'm limping over here. Dead among the roots of these trees. This is a kaiju, man. Like My dude's huge. Place. Chomp, 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 chomp. 
Launch an activity. Oh, hold up. Are you going to let me in there so I can launch this activity? There we go. <laughs> Let's see. Main activity. Completing the activity unlocks actually. Yeah, okay, okay. Select disciples that will undertake the social test and receive a trait at the end of the event. Oh, interesting. Choose this disciple. Gotcha. Click anywhere uh, to see the next part of the text. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Wow. <laughs> That's so basic. Your disciples stumble upon a young man shooting a straw target with a crossbow. He's startled when he notices them and points his weapon in their direction. You you are... I recognize you. My master told me about you. You're the devil's emissaries. I'm going to annihilate you and become a legend of my own time. I'll be the greatest demon hunter ever. Oh, boy. Despite his boasting, the kid can barely have the fact that he's shaking in his boots. You could almost feel sorry for him, but his na naivety annoys you. There must be a way to use him to your advantage. Observe the scene to gather more information. The kid already fancies himself a new Van Helsing, even though he never looked looked evil in the face until a few minutes ago. This time, the time has come to let him taste the secret horrors only you know. Click on the interactive elements. Okay, is there nothing else in here? Nope, just the boy. Okay, cool. Headless Horman looks the kid up and down suspiciously. So, an event unfold. As events unfold, you will have time. To, you have to make choices that influence your story. Okay, cool. Certain actions, and social tests. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Uh, go into devil mode to cheat. Word? Okay, hold on a second. What do we have here? Kill the apprentice. Turn the apprentice against the demon hunters. Easy. Uh, my ruse is at four. Terrorize the apprentice. Easy. My scare is at six. 80% chance. Or we go to devil mode. I shall forge the world in my image. Slide the success gauge up to a hundred. Yeah, approve. That's gonna cost me five. Whoa, everything costs. My imagination. Terrorize the apprentice. Headless horseman infiltrates the apprentice's mind and makes his worst nightmares come true. Shadow creatures have been crawling around the ground around him or over his skin. Anything goes when it comes to accomplishing my mission, even magic. Reaction. At the end of my age, I am very hard to impress. Congratulations. Dracula is impressed with you. Dracula like that. Headless horseman, it's a soldier's duty to master all the weapons in his arsenal. A connoisseur. Plus two occultism, plus three max spiritual points. Ruffian. Ah, plus eight. Max health points and plus one physical damage. Inspired, plus two ruse, occultism, max health points. All right, Bloody Mary gets nothing. <laughs> Disciples often react, address some social test depending on their temper. Each disciple has more or less chances to react positively. A reaction can either uh, only involve the disciple who had just passed the test or a conversation with another member of the team. Reactions generate a trait. Okay. Either positive or negative, though. Livid with terror, the apprentice hunter tries to kill them, but they are only illusions, and he can't even touch them. Finally, he falls to his knees before your disciple. Have pity. Make them stop. I'll do whatever you want. He is at Headless Horseman's mercy. What should you do with them? Choose this interaction. If you send him off to share his nightmare with other humans, force him to betray the other demon hunters. That's right. Headless Horseman explains to him that the only way to make the creature disappear is by killing the other demon hunters he knows. Without a second's hesitation, the apprentice is off running for the closest demon hunter refuge. It won't be long before the souls of the, the of those accursed accursed upstarts are among your subjects. Three hundred souls, dude. What? I mean, I think that's a lot. Pain master. All right, we got some more. Traits are permanent and affect the social. Con yeah, that part I, I get. Yeah. Page are permanent. Open a spell book. Oh, okay. Let me see. Spell book. The main page of the spell book shows you the current state of your each. We're just doing the tutorial all together, guys, but at least we get a good feel for the game. It's part of the demo. Uh, the main page of the spell book shows you the current state of each of your disciples, including skills, combat, and social characteristics. I can't imagine there's that much more of the game left. Because at a certain point, you know, when, like we're learning a lot here, and um, you know, at a certain point, it's, it's got to end. It's not going to take me all the way to the end of the game, of this run. This is, that'd be basically like a full game. <laughs> Turn to the second page of the spell book. The spell book shows you the relics you possess that are not linked to specific relics. Okay. So, I have no relics. And, okay, devil's powers. Add or subtract for HP. Cost one. Wow. Move a status. Cost five. What's the most expensive? Create a portal. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. All right, can we keep moving here? I think so. Grim Reaper time. All right, now we get to see what the shop looks like. Let's see if 360 souls is enough to get anything good. The Grim Reaper. In a secret meeting place, and from mortals, your disciples meet with the Grim Reaper. Time to do business. 
Oh, okay. Well, the conductor of souls finally deigns to show himself. Yep, cool. All Don't right. Make him wait. <laughs> Increase the rarity of thing. Okay, so straight up skill upgrades. Uh, yeah, straight up skill upgrades. Actually, yeah. Um, these two are touting that they will upgrade completely. Um, what is this? What are these? Is here, you can see how many souls you have. Yes, cool. That's how many souls I have. Uh, buy a skill. Well, hold on. What are these things? Let me see. Doubles blood. All your disciples earn plus two in their social characteristics. Plus one max AP, double damage suffered by the holder. Ooh. Okay, wow. Huh. It's got it's got Bloody Mary's face. Is that does that mean that she's the one that wears it? I can't select any of these. Anyway, let's upgrade the abilities. Um this one. This is gonna give us one, two, three, so they're gonna jump in there. I think they automatically do that if they click on them. There we go. More damage. Go there. Yep, go. Good. I am pleased. With these offerings. Ooh, fiance's kiss. Discovery. Hmm. Deadly gash. We uh upgraded some more. Recharge the please go with the highest AP costs. Do I have anything that has I mean yeah. Huh. Sure, let's put that here. Buy a relic. Ah, see that's all I was trying to get to. Okay, holder is com uh, see, uh, begins combat with two haste. Uh, this one is able to earn plus two the soldier characteristics, and then let's go. No, 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 that helmet's pretty. Let's buy this relic. Even more than skills, relics are powerful assets that help you progress, though they can be obtained from the Grim Reaper and during certain events. The surest way to get them is by defeating elite adversaries. Okay, plus two haste. One way to upgrade uh, the rarity of a skill is to leave it to the Grim Reaper. Huh? The skill you leave will not be in your disciple's inventory. Oh, you could find a reminder. Of that skill, the next mini map. Oh, sweet! All right, cool. There's a couple. There's a couple things like this in um, in Monster Train that I like. You basically you leave them a card or something like that, and you get it back later, and it's upgraded. I like that. I really like that. Let me see. So, what should we do? Should we take away? Hmm. This guy. Oh, we could upgrade that. Let me see. Let's take away her main ability here. Let's just hope we get lucky with something really good. And this encounter, but I still have some more souls to upgrade. Hold on a second. Dang, he's trying to... No, 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 no. What? You tell me it's not going to let me do any more? I got to spend my stuff. And this encounter. Oh, man. This damn tutorial. It's trying not to let me get too OP. It gave me 300 and something souls. It's not going to let me spend them. Junk. Junk. All right, let's see what's here. Oh, there's a book. Enter oh. The sanctuary. Lumen sanctuary. Ooh. And determined that it has well and truly replaced the old religions. All right, I see my disciples swooping upon this enemy, and soon the lifeless bodies litter the sanctuary's floor. A handful of survivors. Okay, when we la leave, okay, back to hell. Okay. Okay, a little bit of story time. Now we get to choose. Hmm. Combat. Another story. Or more combat. Let's go the story route. An event when you're when you when they see your disciples the peasants run off and sound an alarm to the nearby villages they'll be waiting for you no and that is not to your advantage the of hell. uh oh falling effect of this zone uh situated in two nights so it says upon arrival in the zone the relics in your store are are disactivated until you leave the zone okay so humanity is rising up against me Got it. So what this is here? No, that's the Grim Reaper. He's right over here, though. So see. An oh, maybe not. Cam. We'll teach its occupants to be afraid of the dark. Use the devil mode to avoid this threat. Let's get down to business. Well, hold up. Choose a zone in which you want to create act. No, 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 I don't want to. No, 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 I don't want to do this. Oh man, it's gonna force me. Reality is but a toy. Oh, but I want to talk to the Reaper, dude. He's got my freaking ability. Okay, hold on. Can I skip this? Won't become active. Wait, wait, wait a second. Until what? Oh, maybe until later or something. Or until I complete this event. Let me see. Uh, plus one stealth. Ruse. Max spiritual points. Physical stealth. Let's see. Stealth. Scare. Physical damage. He's my damage dealer, so let's do that. The Sanctua Lumen's men are inside the walls of half-asleep travelers preparing to submit the villagers to the question. They are convinced that several witches live in the area, and they are right. These fanatics of the light seemed willing to do whatever it takes to eliminate the witches. With a little push from you, they might burn half-asleep travelers and all its inhabitants. But there might be a more subtle way to use them that would also allow you to save the witches. Hmm. 
Your disciples mixed in among the crowd. It's both the best hiding place and the best position for which to influence the goings-ons. Uh, Dracula is ready to act. Well, we'll just go ahead and it's use our... Time I interfered. Let's see. Help the witches escape. The devil is in the 20! Was a little bit of influence there. No big deal. Success. Dracula takes advantage of the crowd's agitation to help the witches escape from the sanctual lumen. Once outside the town wall, they recognize Dracula as one of the precious disciples. They immediately fall to their knees before him and offer up all their possessions of value to thank him. And to think that such a powerful relic was hidden in this rat hole. Mm, yeah. Uh, I see Dreamcatcher. Each time you sacrifice a skill, you earn 80 souls. For every 10 skills played, disciple to have played just reads one superpower. Ooh, doubles inflicted damage. Nice. At the end of each turn, keep up to three unused AP for the next turn. Damn. But when is that going to happen? I don't know. Let's just take uh, this one. Pencils. Well, that's that. <laughs> well, that's that. Okay, no, I don't want to do this. Can I, can I go around? Is it going to let me? Yes, it is. Because I got a thing waiting for me over here. Be on your guard, disciples. Current zone. Not impervious to the snares of this swamp. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, hold on a sec. Green Reaper. Yeah, let's do this. Green Reaper. In a secret hiding place? Yep. As agreed, I infuse the souls you gave me into the skill stabbing. Its strength has been greatly multiplied. The harvest was good. The skill stabbing now possesses rarity level demonic, as stipulated in our pact. Take everything you can. 21 to 30! Damn, bitch gonna stab! Oh, yeah. Please. The conductor of souls finally deigns to show himself. Can I upgrade it again? Don't oh, no. This wait. is a separate ability here. We can't fuse it. But this, we can fuse, though. Oop, there it goes. But uh cool. Put it in there. Put it there. You can. Oh, um what else are we gonna upgrade here? Level up boy. Plus root protection. Um root protection dump okay. Uh oh, he can sacrifice his own protection in order to give protection to the allies. Ooh. Or damage boost. Yeah, let's try that. Put it here. Put her here. Put her there. Let me see. So th we got a relic here. Uh, after each combat, recuperate four diabolic essence. Nice. And this one, when three skills are offered, offer one more. Uh, let me see. Each time you collect souls, you also earn six diabolic essence. Uh, I don't have nothing else I can really upgrade or anything. Let's give another soul. Well, we're not going to see it again if we do that. Uh, let me see. Diabolic essence. We're kind of low on diabolic essence, so we should go that route. Collect souls. That's a yes. And this. There we go. So now we got a few of those. And then I guess we'll just grab something. Let's see. It was this uh, evolutions. One to three shadow or skill power or whatever. Spiritual power. Three sharpening. Recharge one random skill. That sounds kind of handy. Let's put that here. Recharge a skill. I mean, he's my main damage dealer, so I have to have his skills ready to go. Cool. Well, we spent everything. We're ready for the final fight. We're not ready for the final fight yet. But we're getting close, though. The tutorial seems to have loosened its grip. Terror effect in one night, one skill, or 43 souls. We get th souls, we get, right? Come on, come on. Let's do this. Oh man, I can't wait for her to stab. You. 21 to 30. How much health is she at? 36, 24, just gonna murder. Just gonna murder. Dang. Oh, not quite enough though. Hmm. Okay, I need someone with a uh, cheap ability here. You, bleeding heart. Might as well go ahead and finish it off. Oh gosh, that's right. Dang it. Fine. And he has another one. We just inflict a bleed here. Uh, you know, I haven't checked, checked the numbers to see if the numbers will actually activate these. One, two, three, four. Nope. Okay. Any hang? Any keys? No. Okay. So the keys don't necessarily do anything. It's all clicking. Everything click, 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 click. Which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Although I'd prefer to have some kind of keyboard control, like a spacebar wap. I need a wap. We see burst of anger. Uh, I see root protection. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's just go ahead and just go. Let's see provocation of shell. Let's just have her just. Oh, it's just going to be charged. Hmm. We're just depending attack by two. This is all. Oh, she's going to attack both. Okay. Hmm. She could do some serious damage with that, and I can't reduce that. So we got to kill her now. Oh, we don't have anybody that can do 13 atrium to bleeding. Okay. Let's see if we could do. One. Oh god, one? Seriously? Here, two attacks here. This should do it, right? Two attacks. 
First attack, vulnerable. Second attack, finish. Good. As it should be. Too easy. There we go. Four Diabolic Essence, four to three souls, which gives you more Diabolic Essence. There we go! See? I'm good at this game. Already good at this game. I hate fields. See. I'd love to see them burn. Let's see what we got here. Yep. Ah, the sticks. This, don't that thing stuck? Putrid corpses that crowd its water. Replenish your strength. Is zero uh, replenish? What is it? Okay, I, I think I messed up here because I can't click away from this. Uh oh. So because I didn't click on the thing and it's hidden on behind this. Oh my god, did I really? <laughs> uh, the devil's lair. Are you sure you want to do the on unsafe? No. Oh my god. Yeah, try enter key. Enter. No long enter. Nope. Uh, I'm hitting all the keys on the keyboard right now. <laughs> oh no, I think because I clicked on it too fast that I didn't click on this thing. Ah, oh, boy, hey, it's a demo. It's a demo, so that's what happens. Let me see. Let me try. Let me try to go back to Devil's Lair and see if that, uh, see if it just puts me back at the previous resume. Where does it put me? Perfect. Absolutely. Uh, wait, where am I? Oh, am I leaving? Sure, why not? Let's go to the final fight. I'm this good at that. Is <laughs> ghosts. See, I if the humans know all, they're here. all you have to do is defeat it. Just like Red Threads, there will never be a secondary activities in these zones. The book will always end with the final combat. See, yeah, monster train. <laughs> See, yeah. Here we go. I guide my disciples to Van Helsing's mm -hmm. lair. You, you, you could listen to that later. Oh, nice. Van Helsing. There he Finally, is. We meet again. Okay, so he's going to do... to suffer an eternity of torment, mortal. I mean, he's going to do a lot of damage, man. I don't know if I'm going to be suffering or putting any kind of suffer on anybody. Let me see. He has 999,000... Sorry. 9,999. I thought that number. I was like, wait a minute. This doesn't make any sense. Uh, let's kill the disciples and see if that does anything. Uh, we can potentially get super lucky and murder one right here. 30! Oh, beautiful! Wow! That was perfect. And then we could put uh, a single point here. Single attack point here. Finishes off. Good. Bleeding heart has been recharged. And then, let me see. Remove our protection plus two damage allies. Let me see. There's no provocation here. Use the rest of those points. And then you. You're gonna just take the, take the brunt of this, I think. Right? Is that how it works? They're gonna do serious damage all across the board here. We're gonna use our cheat mechanism here next turn. Damn, son. Do you want to feel my wrath? She's vulnerable on both ends. And she's gonna do it. Oh, oh thank god she's gonna attack. <sighs> okay. Let's go devil mode. Like this situation. What is this? It. Reduce the laws of HP by six. See haste, okay. Can I just raise her health? Dude, what? That's amazing. The devil Doesn't need much. Detail. Just, just enough to. Yeah, the just, just enough to keep them alive. Give them an extra turn. Uh, and we're gonna try to work on this on her here. Okay. Removal protection. Uh, let's see, bitterness. Each time the head suffers damage, increases charge by one. Okay. Well, this uh, he's not gonna take that many, that much damage. <laughs> he's gonna die long before that. Recharge to please go with the highest AP cost. Let me see, um, which is going to be stabbing. So we could do... Yeah, we could do this. Superpower. And she's ready for another attack. 47, vulnerable, and we have one attack from this guy here. Perfect. So we've done quite well for ourselves, except for the fact that this guy is going to have 10 attacks. So he's basically going to just mow us down here. Yeah. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. My disciples are defeated. <laughs> that Helsing brushed them aside with a swipe of a hat. Uh-huh. What, what a humiliation. humiliation. <laughs> what a humiliation. Well, let's take a look here. So this is the end of the demo here. De defeat, chapter reach three, number of knights, 11. Upgrade Maximum level. Ooh, of course, some upgrades. It's a rogue, it's a rogue light. So we get more and more upgrades as we go. Um, let me see. 
It is called Rogue Lords. I need another game in my collection that has the word rogue in it. So that's, um, you know, that's that. Uh, we can go. We can uh, flip through some of these. Yep. Okay, you're going to talk every time. Um, <laughs> but, you know, do you need another? Do you need another turn base? Do you need another one? Do you, do you need another darkest dungeon, but, you know, the gothic vampire kind? I mean, there's some people who are into this the Victorian style of gothic shit. Um, and this is a game for you and also into, you know, turn based strategy games. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's got all the, it's got all it, it checks all the boxes, basically. Uh, and graphically, it's great. It's really great. Uh, yeah, if you're a Darkest Dungeon player or if you're a Monster Train player or if you're just a general strategy lover, um, then, you know, maybe something to look out for. Or maybe if you're a strategy lover, you already have 100 games just like this. And so you're like, meh. <laughs> but the game is going to be out fall 2021. Uh, I will probably give this another look when it comes out because it is something that's in my wheelhouse. So, you know, give another look and check it out. But until then, you can go and check out the demo for yourself on Steam if it's still available. Uh, my name is Mike B, a.k.a. Phony. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.